my name is uh, Josi Verdonkschot. I'm head coach of uh, women's rowing in the Netherlands. And uh, I was here to uh, give a little speech about preparing for gold, which means uh, we had a nice result in Rio with the women's rowing. We value a lot measuring in rowing. And I had a nice story about uh, what we monitor, recovery and training. Well, if you look at training, training is always destructive. What you do is you try to hurt somebody in a certain way uh, because you expect uh, recovery. And the, re the training effect is the recovery. And what you want is that people get better. So it's important to know that you're not loading too low or overloading. So what we do is we um, basically everybody trains always with a heart rate monitor. And what we monitor is heart rate. But what we use is, uh, for instance, EPOC uh, as an estimate uh, of uh, the load of a training. And we try and look at EPOC in time. We make reports, weekly reports for every athlete and see what the load of every individual athlete was. We measure recovery at the same time. Uh, we use certain protocols to measure um, recovery by measuring in the night. And in that way, we can see if our training program is getting the results that we want and if somebody is really rested at the time that we want him or her to be rested and that somebody is uh, tired when we want them to be tired. Well, if we look at, uh, at recovery, it, uh, it always depends on the situation. Um, for instance, when we are in a different environment, let's say at altitude, we look at uh, recovery on a daily basis or actually on a nightly basis because we do night measurements every night. Because you can tell when you get in a different environment that the body will be stressed and that you have to see if somebody is already ready for training. The other thing is when somebody gets an injury, that's not just a physical stress, that's also a, a stress for the, for the entire body and also for the mind, which means that also in that case we measure more. And especially in those cases uh, we measure uh, uh, on, a, on a regular, on a, on a daily basis. In other cases we measure on a weekly basis and it's not that the strategy, the recovery strategy of that day or the training of one day will be influenced uh, in that respect. It's more in a generic way that we want to see a nice oscillation of somebody getting tired, getting rested, getting tired, getting rested, getting rested just on the right moments. Well, if you look at, uh, uh, we look a lot at internal workload, heart rate, um, uh, external workload, speed is a different thing. We try to measure that at the same time and we try to correlate those things. The problem is, uh, it's an outdoor sport and uh, speed uh, is difficult to, uh, to measure if you just look at it because the conditions can be very different. We, uh, we, we can also measure power that somebody applies in the boat or we can look when, when we are um, uh, in the gym at uh, different things. So we try to correlate the different things. We try to determine working zones for every effort, uh, indoors, outdoors, uh, based upon heart rate, based upon RPE, based upon um, uh, output, speed, or output, power output. And uh, surely with, uh, uh, with weightlifting, we also look at, uh, at, at, the, at the numbers like uh, speed of execution, uh, power, kilos, tonnage, things like that. The only thing with uh, uh, weight training is that for us it's not a metabolic training, so that's just where we look at external. We don't use it to get tired, we don't do many, many, many repetitions, we just use weight training to get stronger, but most of the uh, resistance training, so power endurance, we do in the boat. So, in a way, external, internal, as important for us, only our measurements are difficult when we look at uh, real sports. But what we try to do is to develop people to learn how to listen to their body and use basic means like heart rate monitoring, uh, logging data, keeping diaries, stuff like that. Because not everybody has the same uh, possibilities to use uh, uh, important stuff like that. What I, for me, in it, as a team, it's just normal that everybody uses all the assets we have. And to, to get them to, to do it voluntarily, you need to be aware that persons are gladly to do something as long as they know why. Just, so we try to explain why. And we also try to explain them that we're not trying to use data to select, but that we're trying to use data to improve, that we've got a common goal, and the common goal is getting better, because in the end, what we want is everybody to get better. And then, on the other end, sometimes we have to 
make selections. But basically, data like that, it's important for somebody to know that it's personal data, that it's, but that's data that is, use, that is helping somebody to get better instead of just uh, weighing somebody every, every day. I always want to train as little as possible. That's my basic philosophy. Because as long as you've got effect, you're doing enough. When, once you don't have effect anymore, you can go two ways. Either you have to go up or you have to go down. But you have to be clever to know that. But the, the thing is, if you look at the lifespan of an athlete, an Olympic athlete to, to reach the pinnacle of, uh, of the sports, it's 10 years. So why bother and do the, the work of somebody that is at the seventh or eighth year of his career at the first year, it doesn't help. So you can do a lot of training, but you don't have to look at the training. You have to, you have to look at it as building or constructing a house. You cannot start and build just one stone on one stone on one stone. You have to build a nice fun, a foundation and from there on build, build it up. So in a way you have to say, as long as you've got effect, there's no discussion how much you should train because when you are improving, you're doing okay. And if, the, if you think compared to your peers that your rate of improvement is not fast enough, then you have, you have to consider it can always be two things. Either you too, do too much or you do too, uh, too little. Sometimes you can see from the results and sometimes you can see from the people because well-trained people, of course they get injured, but basically when you are at the Olympics they're ready and that's the moment that they should be ready.